these things right here are Henkeli leaf tailed geckos. These are a species of gecko that are only found on Madagascar. In fact, all of the leaf tailed gecko species are only found on the island of Madagascar. Their populations, all of them, are threatened or critically endangered in the wild because of deforestation and loss of habitat. And you can sort of tell why losing all their trees would be really bad for them. They look just like tree bark. In fact, I even have problems finding them sometimes when I'm cleaning the space because they blend in so well to their, uh, to their branches and their logs and such. These guys are uh, also known as leaf tail geckos because as you can sort of see by the tail, they do have a big broad tail that looks like a dead dried leaf. Now other species of leaf tail gecko have tails that look or have bodies that kind of look like they have moss on them. Some of them look like they have maybe bird droppings on them. There's lots of different patterns, but all of them want to look like tree bark or look like leaves. You can also see that they have giant eyes, which means these guys are only going to be nocturnal. The bigger your eyes, the better you can see in the dark. These guys are also masters at jumping and climbing from tree branch to tree branch, and they're capable of falling a little bit of a distance without hurting themselves, because even though these guys are born to be in the trees, they're not the most graceful things in the world. A common misconception about geckos that a lot of people have is that they're able to climb up glass thanks to the fact that they have tiny little suction cups on the bottom of their toes. That is not the case. Instead, if we were to look really closely on the bottom of each one of their toes, which I cannot really do actually. If you were to look really closely on the bottom of one of their toes, you would see that on the bottom of each toe, there is a pad. And each pad is made out of ridges. And each ridge is made out of thousands and thousands and thousands of tiny little hairs that are split on the end called spatula. Now these are not the same thing you use to flip uh, pancakes with. Instead, they're specialized hairs that cling onto a surface at a microscopic level using a wide range of different micro sciences mostly using a thing called the Van Wallis effect, which allows them to cling onto a wide range of surfaces uh, like glass, like wood, some metal. But if it's covered in soap or water, they're not going to be able to cling. It prevents their hairs from being able to grip onto as any surface.